Welcome back to the Bird's Nest. Fly, Eagles, fly. You're back with the Flyers, Mr. Brennan. This is the draft recap. Let's get into it. So, the Philadelphia Eagles, we started off with 12 draft picks. Made a couple of moves. Multiple trades. Went up to number 10, snatched Devontae. That was the first move. We're going to grade that as an A. Okay? So, we started off with 12 draft picks. First draft pick. First round, we move up from 12 to 10. We snatch up Devontae Smith. Got him out of the grips because we know that the freaking Giants was going to try to take him. So, then, round two. Pick number 37. I wanted a cornerback there. The Eagles snatched up. Technically the best offensive lineman in this draft. Um, he plays multiple positions. Well, he's graded as, uh, if not the best, one of the best centers from this year's draft class. And due to the fact of him having multiple, multiple, multiple injuries, he fell to us at 37. So the Eagles grabbed him and snatched him up. As long as he can stay upright, he can stay healthy, don't tear his ACL, which he, again, with us, which he's done twice, hopefully, he pans out. Uh, for me, I'm like, he's a freaking injury-prone dude. He's worse than Carson Wentz from what I've seen. Like, literally every year, he's hurt. So, um, but when he's on the field, he's a beast, similar to Carson. So, <sighs> I think they were reaching with this, but we'll find out what happens. Um, go to pick number... 73, we had two third-round picks. We trade one, right, to Dallas. Now, well, I think it was to Washington. We have the third-round pick, number 73, and we grab Milton Williams. We could have still got a cornerback there. They go back to the trenches. Defensive tackle. Yeah, Howie... Our philosophy, the trenches, we have to build. Everything starts in the trenches. That's true. Did you have to get a defensive tackle right then and there? So you value defensive tackle over cornerback, which is why you grabbed him at that spot instead of a corner. Which is why we have had the best, worst secondary for the last couple of years now. Okay, gotcha. All right, so now fourth round, pick number 123. We finally grab a cornerback. Zach McPherson. I like the kid. Kind of short. 5'11 and some change. Lanky. Remind me of Richard Sherman type build. Uh, lanky arms. Kind of fast. Not stupid fast, but, you know, fast enough to keep up. Not really a ball hawk, but he knocks down passes. He gets in the mix. We'll see what happens with this kid. Uh, whether he's ready to start day one opposite of Clay. I doubt it. We'll see. He might be. Once uh, OTA is starting everything, we'll see. Now, we go to round number five. Pick 150. The Philadelphia Eagles take a running back. Now, I wanted a power back. They go and grab Kenneth Gainwell. Now, like the kid, from what I saw his videos, he got a lot of highlights. Reminds me similar to Miles Sanders. I think Miles got a little bit more power than this kid, but the kid's fast, explosive, great catcher out the backfield. He looks like a better catcher than Miles, and that's, they gave him 50, 50, 50 catches in a season. So that kid's pretty good. He, he grabbed that ball. And so I see he's going to probably be a freaking weapon immediately because that means he can catch day one. You put that rookie in there, throw him the ball, let him run. And if the Eagles... Offensive line looks like what we hope it will be, healthy. He should be a problem. He should be instant offense, instant uh, uh, help. And uh, that freaking running back room is crazy now. It's stupid crowded. Somebody ain't going to make it. If Miles Sanders is number one. This kid might be number two. We got freaking Boston Scott. We got freaking Jordan Howard. Uh Freaking Holyfield, son. We listen. I don't know. We're gonna see what happens. Oh, we got the little, the little short guy. We just signed for a two-year deal. Who's stupid fast? Like we're gonna see. I don't know. Um, defensive tackle is what we took in the sixth round. Our first six-round pick at one eighty-nine. Marlon 
to Palato. Looked like a beast from his tape. I'm cool with that. Uh, once again, back to the trenches. Second defensive tackle. Uh, I understand our defensive line is getting a little old. You want to save some money. You want to build with the future. So they're hoping that these two defensive tackles will be some future guys who two, three years from now will be top-notch, maybe Pro Bowlers. Okay. Then you go defensive end at number six. Take Taron Jackson. Taron Jackson. Okay. Highlight real look okay. Gets a lot of pressure. Not a whole lot of sacks, but a lot of pressure. Fast, strong. I like him. And then they go linebacker slash safety Jacoby Stevens from LSU. Whether they're going to keep him at safety, move him to linebacker, we'll see. Um, I don't know. Uh, all in all, I would have liked to got put other positions, cornerback higher than when we got him. Uh, this way we would have had a better quality of corner. Um, everything else I'm pretty much satisfied with besides the fact of the safety guy. We could have got him higher. Um, we'll see how they pan out. Chance that every one of them will make the team, uh, 70% chance in my opinion. Um, now undrafted. So you know how we do every year. We be grabbing gems, undrafted. Undrafted rookies. So, undrafted free agents we grabbed and snatched up. Corner quarterback, I'm sorry, from uh, Wake Forest. Also played at Georgia, Jamie Newman. I like him. He should be a quality, quality number three backup. And then, you know, a year from now, uh, when we don't have um, good old Joe Flacco, he could be a good backup to um, our guy Jalen. So, I like that. I like that. He runs. He's good with the ball. He's taller than Jalen. He's like 6'3", 6'2", and some change. Beast, good arm, and he runs. Mobile. I like that. Good, good. But he could be a good future backup for Jalen Hurts, just in case Jalen gets hurt. Um, wide receiver, Jamon Aspen. And then we got Trayvon Grimes. That's my freaking guy. How he went undrafted, I don't know. We caught a body. We just got away with murder signing that guy. Um, another defensive tackle, Jaquan Bailey. Another offensive lineman, Kyoto Awasika. And then we got a tight end from Nebraska, Jack Stoll, which I was surprised he wasn't drafted either. So we'll see what happens. Um, I like the pickup acquisitions that we got, except for the fact of I wanted more depth at the cornerback and safety positions. Uh, guess they're trusting that the guys we got are going to be groomed better. They're going to grow. Uh, the guys that we got from last year, I don't know. Um, I don't know. We still got time. How we might still grab a, a, a senior type of guy. Hey, Richard Sherman is still available for cornerback. I'll bring him in for a one-year deal. Give me like $5 million if he's willing to take it. Just so he can groom a couple of these youngsters. We'll see what happens. Uh, let me know what you think about the draft. My draft recap. I think the Eagles did a pretty good job. All in all, I grade them about a C plus. I maybe a B minus, but I'm gonna say C plus. But we did focus on the trenches, and it wins up front. You win up front if you can win the defensive line battle. Your defense can it can be tenacious. That's what helped us win the Super Bowl. If you win the offensive line battle, right? Your quarterback is protected. Your offense can be explosive. As we saw in the Super Bowl, the Chiefs had all these weapons from the year before when they won the Super Bowl. That ain't mean nothing when that offensive line was trash. Fly was fly. Y'all know what it is. Welcome back to the Flyers. Like, comment, and subscribe.